know, I retired from half height probably about a year ago, and I, I had an, a great opportunity to travel on the, the Freerider World Tour, which I love doing. I love riding Big Mountain. I've com been competing for years, so I have a competitive mind. I know how to approach it. And this was just a huge opportunity. So I took advantage of it. That was a great way to stoke my sponsors out. But when it came time to go to compete on the tour, my sponsors were gone. So it was pretty wild. It was like, all right, well, all of a sudden I'm not riding for my sponsor anymore. Because that's what I always did. I, I'm a workhorse. I see them as my employer, and I got to make them happy. Well, now all of a sudden I'm riding for myself. And as I'm riding in these comps, I'm just thinking, how bad I want to win. How bad, how great it would be to, to make some cash and, and take some stress off some bills. Be just, I just get so stuck on that, and then God just put in my heart that, dude, it's not about bringing fame or glory to myself. It's about just surrendering. And I mean, if God wants me, if He allows me to win, I better believe I'm gonna give Him credit. You know, like thank you, God, for watching over you, keep keep me safe, and, and blessing this day. At that same event, um, kind of, it was really tough conditions. It was gnarly and had a, a bit of anxiety almost. And finally, I surrendered and was able just to ride with trusting in God that He would watch over me. Both events had super gnarly wrecks, probably some of the gnarliest wrecks of the event. And the second one, I tumbled through a, a strand of rocks and bounced off one of my hip and had to get stitches. But as I was tumbling through these rocks, I just had complete confidence that God was watching over me. When I got to the bottom, everyone was like, holy cow, how are you all right right now? Like, you should not be standing. The event organizer was on the radios and medics, get down to them now. That's why I was still tumbling. I hadn't even stopped. <laughs> and so when I got to the bottom, these guys were tripping out. All I could say was, God was watching over me. He took care of me. I could feel his presence as I was tumbling through those rocks. And God broke me. He just, I had no choice but to give him the glory. It's easy when we're, we're uh, humbled in that way to give God the glory, and, and he knows that. And I think the second we just start seeking after that, that fame and glamorous lifestyle, we're just losing touch with God. I'm stoked about it. I'm excited. Like I know God has something out there for me. And by trying to hang on to what's left of my career or just trying to hang on to my snowboarding or my worldly things, I'm just separating me and God and his plan for me. And he's probably got something so much better planned for me and, and blessed me so much more in that area that why would I, I fight him on it? So it's really about just letting him direct my life right now. Dude, I tell you, man, God's watching over you. All good, man. <laughs> Woo, that was actually kind of fun. Tumbling through rocks, believe it or not. <laughs>